Hello everybody. Today I will be showing you how to add GitLab as one of your sync providers in Studio. Before this, we will need a few things in place. You of course first need a GitLab account and you will also need a personal access token in order to add the repository in Studio. To do this, you can go to Preferences and Access Tokens, give a suitable name for your token, set the expiration date. You can check API as one of the scopes as it grants all permissions for your repository, but depending on the requirements of your project, you can also check the other scopes. You can then proceed to click on Create Personal Access Token, which generates it here on the top, as you can see. You'd want to save this for later. I also already have a repo set up with tokens in them. In Studio, you can then proceed to add the credentials to, these, to the repository. I'm going to name this GitLab, paste my personal access token, add my repository, my branch. And if you have tokens inside a single file, you will need to add the file name and .json. But since I have mine living in a folder called themes, I'm going to add themes. Click save. Please note that if you have locally set up tokens, pulling tokens from a repository will override these. So you might want to save them before pulling tokens. Pull from GitLab. And you can see it's added. Here are my tokens. Let me show you how it reflects in GitLab when you change a token. Let's change primary.default. Let's just pick a random color. Let's go for red. As you see, Studio also indicates a change made. Upon pushing, it shows a model where you can also go to the diff tab that shows the changes made of tokens. Let's have a commit message. And back in GitLab, if I reload the page, it should be updated. There you go. Change primary default color token just now. I'll also show you how the change reflects in Studio when making the change in, uh, in your repository. Let's just change the same token back to what it was. Light primary default color. Oh, sorry. There you go. Let's push this change. Let's go back to Studio. Studio takes a few seconds to update this change. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Pull from GitLab. Upon pulling, it'll also show you the changes incoming from your repository. There it is, changed back to color.orange.400. And as you can see, the token's still red, and upon pulling, changes the token back to color.orange.5400. If you have your repository living within a group, then you'd want to change those details, of course. Your group name, then your repository name, and branch as main and if you just have a readme file in your repository you'd want to input a slash in your file path as this would force you to make an initial push to your repository to set up the token repo as you can see it's now requiring me to make an initial push 
Once this is done, you can start editing tokens and pushing them to your repository.